I want to show you a quick example of how to create a smart list that reports on multiple companies in Dynamics GP using Smart List Builder. So let's get started. There are really two issues that you're going to have to tackle for creating a smart list like this. One is you're going to have to figure out which table or tables that you want to include in your smart list. Plus, you probably want to find a way to determine which company it is that you're pulling the information from. So I did a quick one on cash balances, and cash balances are relatively easy to pull because number one, there's one table, and also there's a related table that will give you the company ID name. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing I want to do is probably find the table. So if you haven't done this before, this is probably a good exercise. You're going to have to find the table with the information in it that you want to pull from. So if you go up to Microsoft Dynamics GP, go to Tools, go to Resource Descriptions, and then Tables, uh, this is a common documentation about Dynamics GP, and what you want to do here is find the table that you want to pull the information from. Uh, typically, I look at this by a physical name here, and I know the one that I want is down here somewhere. It's um, the checkbook master here. So this is the table that I'm going to pull in using my SmartList Builder, and uh, we'll pull another one in and we'll see that too. So let's get going here. I'm going to open up SmartList Builder and create a new SmartList. So go to Tools, SmartList Builder, pull it up here, and just name a new one here. And I'm going to make it available in the financial series. So the next thing I need to do then is add a table to it. So I'm going to click the plus sign here and add GP tables. Now. There's a couple of ways to look at it here. I can see the display name on that. If I want to change that and look at the physical name, I can go up here and change it right here. And now when I look at it, I'm going to look at the table the file names, table names as they are in the SQL database. So the one I want here is uh, CM0100, 00100, that's it there. So I'm going to save that. And then you can see these are all the fields in that table and there's also one here that I'm going to really key on and that is the company ID. The company ID here will allow me to specify in my smart list which company I'm pulling the information from. So I'm going to go ahead and select company ID to be a default field there. I'm also going to select uh, checkbook ID and a description and really the current balance. Select that here. So for this table, this is all I want. Now, I'm going to have a company ID, but in Dynamics, it's really shown as an integer in this particular table. So what I want to do is associate with that the company name table that's in the system database. So let's do that. So I'm going to add a table here. I've already added the first one. I'm going to add an additional table here. So I'm going to look in the system area for this table because it's the company ID table and I switch back to the display name so I can just easily select it here and here's the the company master so I'm going to select that and I'm going to use an equal link method here and let's select the link field from each table so in each table is going to be the company ID I'm going to select that here from the checkbook master and then also the company ID from the company master. So this will link the two tables together. Do that. That's relatively simple. And I'm going to save that. So now I've added an additional table. You can see that here. It's the company master. And really all I want to pull from that is the uh, the company name. So I'm going to pull the company name here. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go back to checkbook master. And I really don't need to see the company ID because it's already linked to the company master from which I'm going to be pulling the company name. So this is basically my smart list. I've already created it. Um, I'm going to save it now and then open up smart list. They made some changes so it's going to go and find that new information and if I go to financial now and I can see my new smart list builder right here. So here it's pulling information. These are from the checkbook master. You can see those amounts here and I'm pulling the company name. So let's go back. This is the basic one. Now I want to make sure that this will work across a number of different companies. So let's go back to SmartList Builder and do that. It's a relatively easy change to make. 
So go back to Smart List Builder. Look up my Smart List. Here it is here. So I'm going to keep everything the same except I can go over to Options here. I'm going to select that this is a multi-company Smart List. I'm going to select the companies for which this will be applicable. Hit Save. Save again. Now let's go back into Smart List and we'll see that all together. It's going to refresh the cache, open up Smart List. Let's take another look at that new Smart List. And there it is. I've got all the company information on that. I have all the functionality that's already in Smart List. To take this table, I can add additional fields to it. I can sort it. I can select. Um, put selection criteria on it. So this is a useful way to get information across multiple databases within Dynamics GP. If you're not already using SmartList Builder, you should probably use it. Go out and get it if you don't already own it because it's, it's perfect for creating new smart lists uh, for ones that don't already exist in Dynamics GP. And I just show you an example how you can use it to create smart lists that will gather information from multiple companies.